Hello, this is Darren Houghton from the Division of Aging and Adult Services. I am the Medicare Education and Outreach Quarter Coordinator for the state of Utah. And today we're gonna to talk about the flu shot. The reason why this is important is because it's almost flu season. So let's talk about the reasons why we need to do this. First is getting vaccinated this fall is very important. Not only will, it, will a flu shot help keep you and your family healthy, it can also help reduce the strain on our healthcare system and keep hospital, hospital beds and other medical resources available for people with COVID. This is not an ordinary flu season. So since we're still in the middle of a pandemic, uh, there are two viruses that are going around. We have the flu, which starts here shortly. And of course we've had COVID and different types of variations of COVID um, since 2020. And on this slide here, as you can see, it says the best way to prevent is to get your flu shot. Uh, Medicare covers the flu shot, it's free. You can get it once a year unless you have uh, medical conditions that require to have a second shot. Um, the first flu shot is covered in October and you can actually get it now in September, but Medicare will cover between September and December. And then if you have special health needs, Medicare may pay for it for January through March. Um, as you can see, there are lots of different uh, things to discuss on this particular flyer, but you know, it's important to know that the best way to prevent the flu is by getting a flu shot. Now, some people like to get the flu shot, some people don't. Uh, it's really based upon your doctor and yourself. You should always consult your doctor and see if it's important that you get that because you might have conditions, chronic health conditions that require you to get the flu shot. Otherwise, there are also conditions that are around that would tell a person probably not to get these particular flu shots. But flu season in North America begins in early October and lasts until December to March. And over the past two years, most of the peak flu seasons happen around January through February. What's important for you to understand is that the flu season last year was not as high as prior years because of all the sanitary conditions that you were experiencing as you were going out because of COVID. Now, those restrictions or those sanitations required by shops and uh, businesses and so forth, those have changed. So they might not be as stringent as it was last year. And that's the reason why the flu wasn't the big um, issue last year, but it could be an issue this year. So what are the th things that you need to think about? Let's look at this that's been provided for us about things we need to, that we need to do for our actions to help prevent the flu. Of course, get vaccinated is one of the easiest things to do. Uh, you can coordinate that with your doctor or your pharmacy, and you can get those shots right now. You can stop the spread, which is, I would encourage you to continue to do what you did last year, which is sanitize your hands when you're meeting with people or going out before and after you are at a business or at the grocery store. Um, clean your carts off if they have any of those wipes. Those are all very helpful. But if for some reason you are going to get the flu, you wanna take the prescription the way that the doctor prescribes it and what he requires you to do. Um, unfortunately for some of our older adults, uh, they decide to use some of it or not all of it or not follow the directions. Those are, you can receive adverse effects with the flu or actually not get better because you're not following what the doctor prescribed. So I would encourage you if you do get the flu, to follow the directions that the doctor has given you regarding how you take those medications. The last thing we're gonna talk about is what you're gonna do um, if you become sick with the flu. And this is another. So what to know what to do when you get sick? Well, you gotta first know your symptoms. You know, The flu symptoms could actually look like COVID. So you might need to go get a test. And if the tests are negative, then first of all, 
great. Second of all, you want to follow the what you need to do when you get the flu, which is usually you'll have cough, sore throat, the fevers, the chills. You want to know and talk to your doctor. And if you're if they require to get a COVID test, get a COVID test. And then if he pre prescribes you prescriptions, then take those. The last part of it is a stay home. I, I know that this year has been tough and we don't like to be home. But if you have the flu, you don't want to pass the flu to anybody else. So stay home when you're sick. Um, just um, you've done this before with COVID. I would encourage you to just stay home and, and let it pass. And this will be able to help you and your family members from spreading the, the flu. So as we come to the end of this short video about the, the importance of getting your flu shot, remember, Medicare covers it and it's free. The flu is uh, an important vaccine to get because it you know, helps you prevent getting the flu. And second, you wanna make sure that you're healthy over the holiday seasons because you wanna spend time with family and friends. So you can go get your flu shot right now. Go to the, either your doctor or your pharmacy, get that. If not, then follow good procedures to protect yourself, which is use hand sanitizers, make sure you're cleaning stuff, be careful as you go out in the public. But again, I would strongly recommend that you get your flu shot. And if you have any questions, you can contact Five County Association of Governments um, through their link and talk to them. Or you can contact Medicare about questions about COVID or the flu shot. Or you can also contact your local physician or pharmacy. With that in mind, I say, have a great fall and do what's right and protect yourself and also protect others.